Hi, I'm Pastor Goodman. And this is the Lord's Weekend God's Life. So, I have honestly lost track of how many times I've had this specific conversation. Pastor... I know that we pray, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. I know that I'm supposed to forgive my neighbor, but I don't know how, and I can't because I'm too mad and I'm too hurt. So how do I forgive them so that God will forgive me? Because I know that it's just one sentence, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. If I can't do this, is God going to forgive me? Luther in the large catechism writes, If therefore you do not forgive, then do not think that God forgives you. But if you forgive, you have this consolation and assurance that you are forgiven in heaven, not on account of your forgiving. For God forgives freely and without condition, out of pure grace, because he has so promised as the gospel teaches, but in order that he may set this up for our confirmation and assurance for a sign alongside the promise which accords with this prayer. All forgiveness comes from the cross of Christ. All forgiveness comes from Jesus. The forgiveness for you when you sin comes from the cross. And the forgiveness for your neighbor when they sin against you, it comes from the cross. You are not forgiven because you have earned it by forgiving your neighbor. We recognize that all forgiveness comes from the same source. That's why we have crucifixes. It's not that God changed reality according to my heart so that if my heart's no longer mad, then there can be forgiveness in the world. It's the other way around. God changed all of the world by dying upon the cross to forgive us and then point my heart to that cross that when I am so hurt and so angry and so broken by my neighbor's sin against me, I might first see their sins being punished upon that cross and then look to them in the same peace that you would. God, change my heart that I might find your forgiveness for my neighbor upon the cross. That's what crucifixes are really good for. I need a nice, dead Jesus on my cross, honestly, so that I can look to that thing and recognize this is where all of my sins were punished. But sometimes I need that dead Jesus so I can look to that cross and recognize that's where my neighbor's sins were punished too. That's where all of the things that I can't get over are taken care of for me, that I can look to that cross and see justice given and then look to my neighbor and say, no matter how I happen to feel about you, Jesus died for you. And that's the beginning of all forgiveness. Let my heart eventually reflect that. 